Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio. Welcome to Home Talk. Today I'm going to show you how to use these beautiful metallic foils to transform this old sofa table and bring it back to life. So let's get started. So I'm going to get started with my base coat. I'm using a product called Bondego and um, it's a paint and primer all in one. So I'm kind of like doing two steps at one time and I love this as a base coat. Um, this black covers beautifully. Okay. So we love working with it. Um, I put my paint out on a foam plate because it just seems to be convenient to use. And um, when you are uh, picking out your foils, and determining what foil you want to use for your project. It's very important to determine what is the best color to go underneath. Now I'm gonna be using a silver as well as a leopard print um, foil and that also is a black and a silver. So I have found with all my years of working with the foils that a darker color always looks better. So I am just gonna go ahead and base coat this entire piece in black, and I'm trying to put on a nice even coat and smooth out my brush strokes as much as I can, okay? And that is why I even like using, I know it's ridiculously small, but um, it is my art wash brush, okay? So as I'm getting my paint on here, um, please let me know where you guys are tuning in from so that I can get to know you all better. Um, also, a couple of things that I need to remind you about. If you would, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming segments here on Home Talk. Um, and also, there will be a materials list, so you can click that button as well and get the full list of products that I'm using on this project, which Today, it's really simple. There's not a lot of different products that we're gonna be working with. Um, so we're gonna get our base coat on here. I'm gonna to try to get it on in one coat, okay? So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna brush this on nice and smooth and try to get uh, really good coverage, like I said, in one coat. And then we're gonna to go to our next step for the foil application, which is also applying a foil adhesive. So I am going to continue to paint this and not bore you with the application of black paint. And we will be back for our next step in a few minutes. Well, we have a piece here that is painted black and ready for the next step. And I have decided that I wanna do a pattern with my foils. So I've used a tape measure to find the center point of the length of it. So I've made a pencil mark here as well as on that side. And then I did the same for the ends because I'm gonna create um, an elongated diamond pattern. So I just found anything I had laying around here that was long enough to connect my points. Uh, I gotta find my little pencil dots here, okay? And be able to create a line, okay? So that's all I'm using this for. Um, I looked for a ruler and my ruler wasn't long enough. So I had to find something else. So I just got um, creative and found something that would give me enough length to give me my diamond, okay? Um, so I'm going to tape this area off and apply my foil adhesive in the diamond and foil the diamond first, okay? And then we'll come back and foil the rest of the table. But I'm gonna section off a couple of areas for this project. Um, so we're gonna, because we're using um, the two different patterns, okay? So what I'm gonna start with here, because this is the top and then I can move to the sides. I'm using a low tack tape. This is called um, we refer to it as orange core just because the inside of the core that the tape is on is orange, but it is a really low tack. Um, so that's why the orange core in there, okay? So I'm just going to take this diamond off. And 
as I'm doing this exciting thing, um, please let me know where you guys are uh, watching from. It's always nice to get to know you and see where everybody is tuning in from. Uh, don't forget that you can uh, subscribe to my page as well as uh, click the link above for the um, product list, okay? So materials list. I guess. That way you'll know all the products that I'm using. Okay, it's going to be easier to tear that first <laughs> than starting to try to tear it while I'm holding on to the whole roll. And if you're not happy with something, because I feel like that line's a little low there, I can pull that tape back off up and reposition that. And so we got one last section here. Okay, so the first step to doing a foil finish, and these are metallic foils that I'm using, is to put down a product that is referred to as foil adhesive. And foil adhesive is a really, really, really tacky material that dries to what's called a firm tack, and it never dries beyond that. So what I'm doing here is I'm running my finger along that edge, what I refer to as like burnishing it. Just wanna make sure it's pushed down well and that nothing seeps underneath, okay? And then um, back to our foil adhesive. I put some out. This is a serving tray that I've lined with press and seal. Works great for a palette. And I'm using a really, really, really low nap roller, okay? So this is like a quarter inch nap. And you want to make sure that it is uh, a low nap because you don't want to put it on too, too thick. But you do want to make sure you have 100% coverage. If you miss an area and you don't get any adhesive on it, you will have no transfer of your foil there. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I've got a good layer on here, and I might actually have to put another piece of tape. Okay, I don't wanna run off, off the tape and onto the other part of the table yet, okay? But I like to come through and try to apply all my movement, all my uh, roller marks all in one direction just trying to smooth everything out and eliminate as much of the roller mark as I can. You can even come back with your roller really, really gently and try to eliminate as much as you can and kind of soften out all even the stippling from the roller, okay? And the reason why I'm doing this is this product does not self level. So whatever texture I create in my roller or whatever I'm using for my application could be seen with the foil, okay, the foil transfer. Okay, so I'm going to reposition here in a second and let you see what else I'm going to be doing. I'll be right back. Okay, I am just um, finishing off my taping for the front panel of this desk, or I should call it a desk. It's just a side table or a sofa table. Um, but I'm making sure that everywhere I want one particular pattern is completely taped off so that I can transfer that foil and then finish that out so that I can isolate to do another foil on the other parts. So the same pattern that I'm gonna put on the top, I'm gonna to also put on this front panel. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead again and use my roller, but I also have a brush out just in case it didn't get all the way up to that edge. Or yeah, see, it's not wanting to go all the way to that edge. So I grabbed a brush and I make sure that I get my adhesive all the way to that edge. Um, so our adhesive has to dry for at least, um, for at least an hour, okay? and it's going to dry to what we call a firm tack. I think I'm just going to brush this because that roller is going to be difficult up there. Um, so you want to allow this to dry for no less than um, 60 minutes, okay? And the colder your environment, the longer I would wait for it to dry, okay? Foil adhesive and foils just do not like um, cold weather. So you want to let it dry um, and make sure that it's drying to a complete firm tack. So it goes on this milky white and it will dry completely clear. Um, and then even though it's clear, don't think it's just dry just because it's clear because it'll clear out in probably about 20 minutes. 
but go ahead and allow it to completely dry for that full hour, okay? And then at that point, we can go ahead and transfer our foil. And not only are we gonna transfer our foil, but we'll go ahead and transfer the foil and top coat it, completely clear it, so that we can go on to um, the other parts of the table that I wanna do another foil pattern. So um, as I've indicated, this stuff doesn't self level. So try to make sure your brush strokes are as smoothed out as you can get them, okay? That, one, that is one thing that I always wanna stress that's really important because otherwise you might see all of that brush stroke, okay? And we wanna see a beautiful foil. We don't really wanna see our brush strokes that are underneath. Okay, so I am preparing not only the um, top in that diamond pattern, okay, with the diamond on the top, um, but I'm doing the front. I'm gonna do both of the ends, and then we're also gonna tape off the drawer um, and then the, that same elongated um, diamond pattern. So I'm gonna finish putting on the foil adhesive and um, we'll be back when it is all tacked up and ready to transfer our beautiful foil. So we'll see you in a few minutes. So we're finally at the fun part. Okay, we get to actually transfer a foil. I'm so excited. Um, and I wanted to show you the label. This is the foil adhesive that I was using. And the first foil that we're gonna be transferring is this beautiful pattern called Ramsey Rose and Silver. So it's monochromatic silver roses, okay? Now, I've already cut a piece big enough to cover the entire surface. And when you are installing a foil, okay, you guys are looking at the back right now, okay? And that is the side that always goes on top of the adhesive, okay? You wanna be looking at the pretty side. So this is a long piece, so I've got it folded in half so that I can try to position this to my best of ability by stretching it all the way out <laughs> and then letting it go into place, okay? That foil adhesive is so sticky, it wants to grab everything, okay? And it looks like I forgot a rag. Let me go grab a rag. What happened to my rag? Oh, there it is. Okay, not too far away. Okay, so I am going to lift this back up a little bit and smooth it out with my soft cloth, okay? And that is always the best way. I try to keep my hands off of the foil if I can because you could possibly even transfer a handprint, okay? It's crazy, but you can. <laughs> and then this wasn't wide enough to go all the way, so I'm gonna try to stay off of that one little edge because I don't want the perfect line of that foil edge to transfer, okay? So we are going to go ahead and just use my claw right now and rub, okay? Now we've got some air bubbles, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the foil and then allow it to go right back down because anywhere that air bubble was, it's gonna go right back into place and um, it should fix it, okay? And I do want to say, there is nothing perfect about foil transfers, okay? Foils are just another way to adorn a surface and give us some really cool looks. And um, they're not always perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a scrub brush and we are going to scrub as well. So this is the scrub brush that I love to use. Um, this is a quickie brand, okay? But any scrub brush that um, has some short plastic bristles and they're stiff is gonna give you kind of the best transfer. And you're gonna go back and forth in one direction, okay? You don't wanna do circular motion. You don't wanna go in a whole bunch of different directions. Again, um, things can actually get transferred that way. So you wanna be real precise and just go back and forth. Try not to talk while I'm doing that because it's kind of noisy. But what this is doing is scrubbing the foil so that it has a good chance for the whole pattern 
to adhere to our foil adhesive, okay? And if there was any area where maybe you had um, some wrinkles, you're probably gonna see some of those imperfections. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrub again. I'm gonna try to talk really, really loud so you can hear me. And then we're gonna go ahead and just release this and see what we got. And oh my gosh, this looks really, really wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece in half because we still have two little sections that just didn't get transferred well because I wasn't putting much pressure on those areas. So I'm going to do a piece right here in the front, okay? And I'm not trying to match the pattern up, but I'm gonna put a piece right there as well as I'm gonna do this back section. And again, I'm not trying to match the pattern up. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I'm covering that whole section. So I might need to move that down a little bit further. There we go. And again, use your scrub brush and just scrub over the area that didn't transfer. And I didn't transfer well because it was right on the edge of that foil there. Uh, and that is perfect, okay. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. I just love how foils come out. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and top coat this because everywhere that is still black, I'm going to transfer a completely different foil. So I wanna be able to top coat this, have it dry and tape the, this foil off so that I can do the other side. So the top coat that I'm gonna use um, is our product that is by Golden Paintworks. And I'm gonna use their gloss because I want a shiny finish, okay? Our foils are really bright and shiny and I wanna keep it bright and shiny. So I'm gonna go grab a brush and we will top coat this and get ready to do the other sections as well. I'll be right back. Okay, I've just poured some of my top coat out onto um, a palette or a foam plate. I call it a palette, okay? And I am just going to roll this on. I'm using again one of my uh, low nap foam, or not foam rollers, um, <laughs> Let's get this right. Low nap um, roller, okay? And I'm again gonna try to keep my brush or my roller strokes, I should say, um, nice and smooth, okay? So we're gonna give, make sure we got full coverage and we're gonna give it a couple of coats because I really wanna put a good finish down on this before I pull the tape up. Now I'm gonna reposition this table so that you can see me working on this front of it and see how I finish that out, as well as we're gonna do the drawer with a different pattern. We'll be right back. So while our top coat is drying on the top, <laughs> I have grabbed some more foil. Again, we're still using the Ramsey Rose, and I am going to go ahead and foil the front. So again, just put your foil on and rub it, okay, to get it in place. Um, and let's see, I think I grabbed, did I grab my right bucket of brushes here, okay? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I'm just gonna use one of my brushes and just push it into the corners. Another good one to use is a toothbrush, okay? So if you've got, um, grab a toothbrush and that will help it get into all those edges because sometimes it's hard to like get things to get sneak up or get it all the way up, up into that edge, okay? So I still might have to go grab a toothbrush to get that. And then you're still gonna use your scrubber brush. I got my stuff all over the place here. <laughs> so use your scrub brush and make sure that you've got the transfer you want. Okay, so you can peek underneath and if you haven't transferred enough of the foil, just lay it back down because wherever it didn't transfer, there's still foil there, okay? Um, I'm gonna go grab that toothbrush right back. Okay, the toothbrush. 
This will help you to get all the way into those edges. And I don't know if there's anything better. You can also even try like the little nail brushes too will get in there well. But this helps so that you can get right up to those edges and scrub. Sometimes I'll even just go in with my fingernail and that works as well too. Um, now I wrap the, the foil adhesive down to the bottom. So if my foil piece isn't big enough, I'll probably still have to put another piece on there, okay? And then I was gonna go ahead and scrub again. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, if this is all the way up there to the top, okay, yes it is. We might have to go as far as we can. So I'm gonna be piecing this together. And um, as you can tell, I made this as complicated as I think I could. Um, <laughs> I just don't do anything simple, okay? Uh, but hopefully I'm showing you guys some great ways to do some really cool stuff. Okay, so let's pull this off. Okay, it looks like I missed this section there, so I'm gonna rub it with my fingernails, okay? And that worked really good. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Sometimes our fingernails just are the best. I'm just scrubbing it in there, okay? So while I'm having fun here, you guys, remember, I want to know where you are tuning in from, where you're watching from, and um, if you would share that with me, that'd be awesome, okay? So I cut some long strips that I'm just going to try to go as far as we could, like on these thin pieces. That way I can do both top, front, and bottom at the same time, okay? So this is just gonna be a lot of piecing here, but it should go pretty easy. So always just scrub. Smooth out with your cloth first and then scrub, okay? And the only place I'm really worried about how perfect it is, is across the front. Now, I do have black underneath, and if some of the black shows, that's perfectly fine. I don't mind that at all. Um, and that is why I picked the black to begin with. Um, and you can choose what color you want um, for your foil base, okay? So if you want this to look as perfect as it can possibly look, okay, um, then I would have done possibly like a gray or maybe even a silver paint. And that would give me uh, my most flawless looking uh, transfer okay but i love the black peeking through to me i think it looks really cool so we're just going to go for that look okay now i'm going to go ahead and do the top so anywhere there is adhesive um, the foil is going to just grab and so you have to also kind of be careful that um, you don't want to have cut pieces of foil like flying around the room. So if you have a fan going, sometimes I'll even turn off the fan because I don't want the foil to be blowing and get caught somewhere before I'm ready to adhere it there. Uh, so please, if there are any questions regarding this process, um, ask. I think you guys will absolutely love these foils. They give you such bright and shiny and beautiful colors and patterns to work with. Um, um, I think they're just absolutely stunning, okay? So we're gonna take our little pieces. I try to use some of my scraps up, okay? So um, where I need it here to go onto the inside of that edge, I can use that scrap, and then I can even use some of it for up above. Uh, so because our because it's not just one flat piece, okay, you're just going to be piecing together. And like I said, I'm not worried about uh, the pattern at all, okay? Nobody is ever going to critique this and know if my pattern is perfect or not. So anywhere where the surface is a little bit rougher, and it definitely is a little bit um, more rough on the inside of this drawer, uh, we're not going to get a perfect release. Okay, it'll be more of the black probably showing. But if you're not happy with the black showing somewhere, just put a little foil over it, over that area, 
go back and scrub and you can make most of it disappear. Um, so in our collection um, of foils, I think we have uh, at least 127. We've got like 30 new patterns coming in soon, so our collection's gonna be, um, we're gonna be probably close to 200 different colors and patterns by the end of the year. So our collection is quite extensive. Um, and basically, I wanna say the closest um, comparison to anything else like foils would be uh, leafy, but gold leaf is just, to me, it's not so much that it's such a lot of work, but it's just messy. Anytime I ever gold leaf anywhere, I feel like I have that gold leaf all over my studio forever. Um, it just kind of flies and gets everywhere, okay? <laughs> so this is um, definitely an easier way to get a metallic finish. And what's cool is we're not just getting a metallic finish, we're getting a metallic finish that has a pattern to it. Um, so when you're playing with metallics and figuring out like the most shiny, brightest metallics that there are, gold leaf is actually like what I call like the purest. Um, the most bright and shiny would be gold leaf. And then from there you would have foils like we're doing right now and a step down from that would be your uh, metallic paint so that's kind of the um, the list of all your metallic options and from the shiniest brightest purest metallic to um, the, from the top to the bottom I should say okay so gold leaf will give you the most beautiful shimmer and then foils would be the second, and then metallic paint would be your third option. But none of those, not, not gold leaf or paint, are gonna have a pattern with them. So this is a total bonus, okay? Okay, we've almost got this front done. My foil's just barely up there to the top, so I'm just trying to make sure. That we're good. So once I get this part done, then I will go ahead and top coat this as well. We'll finish transferring both ends of this table. And then we're going to come back and tape everything off so that we can do the legs and the top in a different print, okay? As well as I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the front of the drawer. I'm going to flip it, okay? We're going to do the middle of the drawer with the leopard and the outside of it with the Ramsey Rose. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up and I'll be back with you in just a minute. So we need to also get the top of the drawer or the front of the drawer, I should say, done. And this time we're gonna be using another foil. This one is our leopard print in silver. And isn't that awesome, okay? So I'm gonna cut a piece of this long enough to do the whole drawer. And it's definitely gonna to be too wide, but We'll use the scraps on the, um, the legs or the top, okay? Because we're still gonna be doing the rest of that table, okay? So I'm gonna put that directly over that diamond pattern, okay? We're gonna rub this with our cloth and then grab our scrubber brush that we finally have handy and scrub the top of this, okay? Let's see how that looks. It's always so much fun to pull back. Oh my gosh, that transfers so, so pretty. Okay, so that's transferred. And it's awesome because the minute you are transferred like that, you don't have to wait for anything else. The foil is done and now you can put your top coat on, okay? Um, because the only thing you have to wait for is that, um, the foil adhesive to dry. Once you transfer your foil, you can go right to your top coat or whatever else you're planning on doing. Okay, so we can allow this to dry and then we'll come back and we're gonna be taping everything else off and doing the opposite foil around the other foil.
but that doesn't make sense at all. We are just going to be doing the other foil next, okay? So join me. I promised I will make this simple, okay? Well, our top coat has finally dried, so I am going to go ahead and remove my tape, which I'm telling you, this looks so awesome already, and we're not even partway done, okay? So now that I have my diamond shape done, I'm going to retape off so that we can do the, basically the whole same process again for the other foil. Now I went over a little bit here, but by the time that gets buried with my foil adhesive, nobody will ever see that. Um, but the reason why I've gone through so much uh, detail on this is if I don't cover this up and protect it and there was any adhesive at all showing, it could possibly transfer the other foil. So now we're gonna take the time to try to match up our edge here, okay? As perfectly as we can. And it's gonna be a little tricky on this point, okay? <laughs> sort of thinking about that. You know, you always have all these great ideas and then you're like, oh, okay, that's gonna be a, probably a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. But I figured probably best to have my scissors, okay? I can get this to come back off here and cut a nice edge on there okay so this was almost fitting perfect so let's see if we can cut a nice edge and get that point covered oh that would that worked great okay so I also need to cut that back a little bit more and maybe a little bit more here okay so a little bit more tedious to tape off the diamond than taping, you know, to actually cover it than it was to, um, to tape off the outside. Okay, so now I've got a nice point on this edge over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that point that I have um, and see if I can get that to match up. Okay, it's a little too wide, so I'm gonna cut it first and see if that's narrow enough. And now it's not, okay, we need to cut a little sharper point here. Okay, let's cooperate tape. Okay, doesn't it always happen when you're trying to do something and you just can't get the tape to cooperate? There we go. That should work for us. So a little bit more um, time consuming to kind of do this, but in the end, it's going to be so worth it when we see how awesome this is to have the, both of these foils right next to each other. So while I'm just having so much fun over here trying to get my tape on perfect, um, please again share with me where you're tuning in from. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, I will be on the live premiere. So I will be here to answer your questions. And um, remember that the material list, there's a button for it at the top. So just click on that button and you can see the complete list of materials that was used. Um, and also check out, make sure to check out my website. Um, there is a lot of great tutorials on there as well and fun stuff that I'm always doing. Um, and I feel like my head is just right in your guys' way. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's just never a great camera angle um, to get something like this that you're working on, especially when I feel like I gotta be right on top of it and see what I'm doing, okay? See how well I did on that. Ooh, that was a good slice there, okay? Okay, so let's just make sure that we're protecting this little area there. We don't want any of our foil showing on this edge, okay? Uh, we wanna make sure that everything is protected. Okay, and I got one more little section to do. So as soon as I get my tape on here, then it's going to be a matter of 
uh, going through the exact same process, okay? I'm going to uh, grab the foil adhesive. Okay, can you guys notice that it's <laughs> sometimes hard to talk when you're trying to do something that's so precise? Um, but I'm gonna grab my foil adhesive. We're gonna put our foil adhesive on all the rest of the surface that is left black, okay? So not only am I gonna do the top of the table here, but we're also gonna do all of the legs. Um, and the legs are gonna get the leopard print as well. Okay, slicing like I did there, you guys, that is the best technique, okay, that I have found so far. And again, I just need to get this one little point. And we're gonna grab our foil adhesive and get that put on, okay? I'll be right back. I have the um, diamond all taped off. And again, remember to burnish that edge, okay, of the tape, because you just don't want anything to seep underneath. And we want to try to keep our nice, crisp lines that we've created, okay? So I'm just going to use my foil adhesive. Again, I just have it on my, my tray, which works really great. And we are going to roll this everywhere that we still have black showing, okay? So I'm gonna do this little front edge, I'm gonna do the top, I'm gonna do the sides, okay? And then also, I'm gonna do all the legs as well, okay? So all of the rest of these, this table is going to get the, um, the leopard print, which is gonna be awesome with the two of these foils right next to each other. So I'm gonna to continue to apply the foil adhesive. Again, we will let this dry for an hour and then we'll come back and we'll have some fun time getting it all transferred. So we'll see you back and we'll see you back in an hour, okay? It is time to transfer our second foil and this time it is that leopard print, okay? So I've cut some pieces so that we could get started. And I've cut them a little too long, so maybe I can use it on this side and then flip it over to the other side. Um, let's get our rag, let's get our brush, and I'm trying to make sure I could get the side of the edges as much as I could get at one point and also try to use this foil um, as economically as possible because I figured if I did this side I might be able to flip it over and do the other side okay so let's scrub this on make sure I've got my my edges and I'm trying to hold this up because the legs are already done as well too so I don't want it to go stick to a leg yet okay there and okay you can always if you missed an area remember just lay it right down so I like to do what I call peaking pull it back see how good my transfer is and I can keep checking it and checking it as I go and if I feel I want to go back lay it right back down okay well, let's peek from the other side now and you can always go back and scrub again, okay? Oh my gosh. That looks so awesome. Okay, so let's see if this is wide enough. Maybe get this other area over here. Maybe not. Okay, I think I want to use a piece a new piece for each side. I think I'm gonna have better coverage that way. Okay, so we're just gonna use another big piece. And like I said, I like to always rub it on first with my cloth just to kind of get everything on there. And then come back and scrub. 
Okay, even though this seems like it's, I don't want to say complicated, it's just a couple of different steps because we're having to transfer our foil, seal it, come back, and then prepare and transfer the other sections. But it's really not difficult, okay? everywhere, getting as much coverage as we can, and this table, even though it seems like it is a good heavy table, it wants to wobble on me, okay? And I'm just going to go back and piece just a little bit over here, it seemed like it didn't get as much coverage. And I might have to come back. <laughs> And check the back of this. Okay, no, oh, that's looking so great. I sure hope you guys can see this really well from your side, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and do the front. And I'm going to go as far as I can here. I'm going to get my rag out, okay? And rub my sides. So has anybody that is on here with me, have you guys foiled yet? Okay, I mean... The metallic foils are so awesome, and I hate to tell you how long I've been doing them, but they are so much easier to work with today than they used to be years and years ago when I first started playing with these. Our foil adhesives are better, and our foils actually transfer better. Um, so technology is kind of caught up to this industry, and we've got a way better product than we used to have. Okay, trying to keep my head out of the middle of the camera here. Let's make sure we've got that transferred really well. You guys, this is going to be so incredible when I get to take the tape off, okay? Let's see if we can use this section here and finish out. Okay, quit grabbing. <laughs> like I said, when you have a piece that has foil adhesive in more than one spot. Okay, like I've said, I've already prepped my legs. Okay, so the legs are sticky. Okay, so I want to try to keep them off the, keep the foil off the legs until I'm ready to go and do those. So sometimes working with smaller pieces instead of larger pieces is not always a bad idea. But I wanted to show you the whole top transferred, and then I'll put the table back up high and show you how I do one of the legs as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite all-time foils, and I absolutely love these two patterns together. Okay, so let's try to carefully, and now I don't have to worry, so I can remove my tape because I can go ahead and put a whole nother coat of clear over the top and protect both of them, okay? So I can remove this, and that means my top's just gonna get a little extra protection. But, oh my gosh, this is so, so stinking pretty. So even with the awkward tape job and having to, you know, really get your edges perfect on taping off your diamond, that is so worth it. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see that as well. And I'm just gonna tip it a little bit so that you guys can maybe get a really good view, but that is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go put this back up on the table and show you how to do one of the legs. Oh, great. I'm so excited, I'm sorry. Okay, we're at the final touches here. We just need to finish the legs and um, also that drawer front, okay? So, just apply your foil to that surface, okay? And again, this is a bigger piece than is needed that I might be able to do a couple of sides at once, okay? So I'm gonna let this wrap, and it's not long enough, but that's okay. We can come back and get the bottom of it, okay? But this will at least get a couple of the sides done. 
So same process, smooth it on with your rag, grab your scrub brush, scrub it. And I got a bunch of wrinkles up here. So, and we're also gonna need to, okay, there's my toothbrush. Get our little toothbrush out again, okay? Cause we're up into the little nook and crannies, okay? And these little tight corners. You might need your fingernail again, just to get in there. Um, get anything into the tight areas. And then I'm sorry, I'm gonna duck on over here <laughs> and try to get this side done as well. Okay, and I'm not scrubbing all the way down to that hard edge because I don't want to get a perfect line. So always stop short if you have any kind of area like that. Um, you're going to like the way it transfers better if you do. Okay, let's get around this corner. So there's a lot of scrubbing, okay? I always joke with my students, these are kind of the projects that you can do if, you know, you just need something just to have fun for the day and... You just want to scrub your foils, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so fun to remove this, okay? And see what you've got. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that all off. And then if I need to, it's easier at this point to cut a piece and go in here. And if you want to, um, if you missed going too high or got too much black showing still, then you can just kind of use the smaller pieces instead of trying to use this. Because one thing you want to be careful about is this clear plastic, okay, where it's clear now, you can see my hand behind it. There's no foil to transfer there. So you don't want to get that area stuck on your adhesive anywhere because it kind of wants to stick really, really well. So it's better to um, flip over, okay, to where you can kind of manage your area and do the lower part of the leg. Just want to make sure this is grab something that's not sticking, okay? And um, finish that out, okay? Oh, this is just turning out wonderful. Okay, I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to come back for the big reveal, okay? We'll be back in a few minutes. So once again, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed learning the process of installing multiple different foils together. Um, this has been a fun project. Again, make sure you um, click that materials list button to see all the products that I used, um, the follow button so you will be notified the next time I am live on here. And any questions you guys have, please post them in the comments and I will get right back to you. We'll see you next time.